Uh, no, this is better. Okay, well, I'll do the stomach maybe on this side this, yeah. and then spleen on this one. Oh, yes. Okay, okay so, um, all right, the stomach channel, uh, stomach 41, okay, stomach 41 is on the front of the ankle. You know, again, they say like level with lateral malleolus, but I, I don't tend to use that. It's going to be right in the center of the front of the ankle, ankle between these two tendons. So, you know, I can definitely feel this, these tendons here, but if you wanted to make it more visible, if you dorsiflex the foot, then this, this is the extensor hallucis longus right here, and then this one is um, extensor digitorum longus. And I just try to find uh, depression right between those two tendons and relax that. And so um, that would be where my uh, stomach, if I can get the point. Here. Stomach 41 is right, right in between, right here on the front of the crease. Um, yeah, center of the front. So you can kind of see, like, I mean, it is roughly level with the lateral malleolus, but I still wouldn't, you know, some some people are um, have very, like, their foot naturally goes down this way, and then that would kind of throw things off as far as using the lateral malleolus as a landmark. Okay. The next one is uh, stomach 42. That's basically on the high. I mean, you know, I usually try to get to the highest point on the dorsum of the foot, but um, there are different ways to find it. Uh, if you wanted to, you can try to feel for the second and third metatarsal bones. So metatarsal bones are inside of the foot here. You know, this is your second and third metatarsal, and then I just try to follow them up to their base where they join with the cuneiform bone. Okay, but you know it can be hard to um, feel for those landmarks. Another way is to go from stomach 41 and then measure about um, a cent and a half. Okay, on this line joining stomach 41 and the web margin here. So if I go down from stomach 41 about a cent and a half, usually it, it'll stop this um, pressure right here. That looks like too soon. Yeah, it, let's still put the point here. So if this is one, this is about one and a half cent. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, okay. So stomach 42. Okay. Um, so stomach 43, you know, the, the point location description says it's about um, one cent proximal to um, stomach 44. Okay. Um, you could either start from high up and go towards the web margin and you know stop or you can start from the web margin and work your way back. Um, for now I'm just going to start from the web margin and work my way um, proximally. So um, from the web margin if I go this way I'm going to be crossing over this um, you know the knuckles, the hills of the knuckles here. And then immediately beyond that, I'll feel myself sink into this depression here. Um, that's that's pretty much where um, stomach our stomach 43 is going to be located right here. Yeah. Again, keep it between the um, second and third metatarsal bone. Okay. And okay, stomach 44 nating is. It, you know, your location says 0.5 soon from the margin of the web, yeah? But I usually just start from the margin of the web and work my way back. And it's a very small distance until I stop against the, um, uh, you know, the distal side of these knuckles here. So I just go from here, right about here, okay, right in this point here. And then our last point on the stomach channel is the stomach 45. Just off the um, lateral, um, just lateral to the, the corner of the, um, the second toenail, so right about here. Okay. So 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. And then if we go to the spleen channel. Is that the blue color? Oh. Um, yeah, well, I'll just use the same, but um, um, 
working on this, right? Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay, so um, so spleen one, start on the big toe, and it's just point one soon off the the medial um, corner of the big toe right here, yeah. And then for spleen two and three, you know, I, again, I just like to think about the border between the red and white skin. So this is the pale skin of the sole of the foot. This is the dark skin of the dorsum. And you just stay on this border right here. So if, I, if I'm feeling the medial side of her big toe, I just slide up, or proximally, until I run up against the um, first um, metatarsal phalangeal joint right here. This is where, um, you know, sometimes people have bunions, right? Um, but you just slide up until you run, run up against the the distal edge of that and this will be spleen two okay there really isn't that much um, uh, flesh there so uh, you know sometimes I mean you can't really needle perpendicularly at this point um, or you're gonna just be going into the bone so usually when we needle this it's like a transverse or flat insertion okay um, spleen 3 is you know following the same line but just proximal to um, this first metatarsal phalangeal joint so from spleen 2 I just continue along this line and I cross over and then I find this depression just on the other side of the first metatarsal phalangeal joint and this is spleen 3 right here this is a really sensitive point on most people, but um, um, it is, it's an important point to tonify the spleen. Yeah. So spleen one, two, three. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's all the points that we did today.